Hello to everyone. This is Joanna, and this is Monday. I want to share with you what I got from the store from Meyer. And I might be talking kind of fast. I apologize in advance. I just got in the door. I need to put the refrigerated stuff up. And of course, my phone is on 18% power. So I actually went out to the store for these little frozen things you see from my work lunch. I also intended to get some lunch meat. I was looking for olive loaf. Not a favorite of mine, but every blue moon I get a taste for that. They didn't have that. They didn't have the sea salt veggie straws I was looking for. And they didn't have the kind of bacon that I wanted because my other thing was I was going to get stuff to make um, bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwiches. I was going to use some sort of ciabatta bread if I could find it. So I'll share with you what I did get. Again, I got these because I can use these at home for quick lunch when I'm working and to take to work. So some of my boxes may be smashed up. Please ignore that because I put my stuff in a bag because I'm carting it home on the bus. So I did get two of these. It's my favorite as you all know and I got one of these right here I saw these and thought they were new yogurts vanilla by we but they're just dairy free so I did get a couple of those the little desserts that I got last time the creme brulee they didn't have any they also didn't have the cheesecake one they had plenty of the chocolate one I got this vanilla sweet cream cold brew sometimes I like this over ice with added creamer and things and I wanted to try this brown butter chocolate chip cookie creamer i do want to order some chocolate chip cookie dough um syrup because i plan on doing something with that one and a peanut butter one and i'm not going to order it yet i may go through this creamer before i do that um and i don't need it for what i'm going to use it for i got the chobani extra creamy they only had this the zero sugar and I think the plain regular, I do prefer the plain extra creamy or the vanilla one that you see me get all the time. I did go ahead and get these drinks. I often will take these into work on the morning and I will drink them. I don't buy enough to drink them at home. If I happen to be off, I will do so. And I got this for me to drink now while I was on the bus, but I ended up putting it in my bag. So I will put this up and I will share with you the rest of what I purchased. Okay, and next, since I wasn't able to find the snack that I wanted, I got some bite-sized rounds by Tostitos, and I got the Queso Blanco dip. As you know, we are putting together a baby gift for our co-worker, so I got this little bottle here, and I'm going to go back and get another one. I went ahead and got some almond butter. It was between this and coconut, and I didn't want to get both. Normally, I would, but I was already packing a lot of stuff, so the next time, I will try the coconut butter biscuits. I did go ahead and get these. I've never had these before. These may be a refrigerated item, too, so I will put these up. And then I wanted to try this salted caramel latte mix. I may have snapped a picture of this at one point. I got more matcha powder, culinary grade, to make my um, green tea frappuccinos with. And then these, I don't know why they have the sticker all over this. Each one, if the sticker wasn't torn off, it was on there haphazardly. But I prefer these kinds of clippers hopefully you can see that it has a straight edge rather than a curved edge and you get a nail and a um, bigger one you get a small and a large one and i do prefer this brand for clippers again it has a straight edge and then this was brought to my attention by adam nichols because i know that they had a vanilla one i never found it in our walmart here and i had basically quit looking but he asked me if i had tried this shea butter one and i had not so because of him i wanted to try this i do like the smell of it um we're gonna see how i like it in the laundry because y'all know i really really truly prefer my um downy romantic and i have to get that at walmart i always get the beads and i always get the fabric softener y'all have seen me get those two items for years prior to that i did use the downy almond and then they stopped making that and before then the apple mango tango gain i used to use in the i think they had the balls later but i always did the detergent the fabric softener and the um, dryer sheets because that one was one of my son's favorites i didn't put it in my work clothes i always like something light in my work clothes which i think the shea blossom will work just as well as my romantic and the almond did 
But when it came to the home covers and the sheets and my son's hoodies and any of his little snuggle up sweater type items, he loved the Apple Mango Tangle Gain and I did too. He always said it reminded him of home. Um, I washed everything in that um, except for like his jerseys I did unscented with that y'all know that I use unscented in my clothes but my fabric softener my beads and sometimes my dryer sheets are the scented item and I do also utilize unscented downy um, but for the most part I've been using the same cleaning products for years that you guys have seen out of me and then the next thing that I got was I have been using Charmin forever but I did grow up with Northern in the house, and I like the green Charmin that I said used to be called Aloe. I've always used the blue. I felt like it was stronger than the red, but here lately, it's been tearing real easily. So I thought I would just switch over and give the Quilted Northern a try. And then the next items that I have, guys, when I tell you that I was happy as a little lark, they had my tees back. And that's another thing that got me out there because these were all on sale for $2.99. Now, there is a turmeric and there is a matcha. I have not tried that. Um, I might try it when I go back again. So, as you see, this is the Bedtime Bliss. I loved it so much, guys, that I purchased the last three that they had for $2.99. I got one stress therapy. They had several of those. This tea is fantastic and it puts you to sleep. Now... I like this one and favor this one better than this one. However, this one, as you can see, the ingredients there, they line up. This one tastes better. This one works better. But that mint throws these two off. It just doesn't go in there. But I do recommend that you are not driving when you take this tea. If you are someone that gets up early like I do, if you have to be up at 4 or 5, I would not recommend taking this any later than 7 p.m. Because a lot of times if I take it, the day or the evening before I go to work, I take it no later than about 6.45 or something like that. Because to me, this one works faster than this one. And again, this one tastes better. So it depends on what your preference is, but I do like them both. I just favor this one over that one. The stress one, I think, knocked me out too. I usually will utilize these the night, um, that last night that I worked, that Sunday night, because that Monday, I don't really have to get up and go anywhere. So the next thing that I got is the Sephora um, little haul that I did with you where I shared with you the cream that I got. It was a cream and not a gel. And as you can see, I went back and exchanged it. I don't know what the name of the other one was. But when I saw it was a cream, I went back because it doesn't say cream or gel on the site that I was on. And I told them I wanted something that looked like this. And that's what I got here. Now, what I did learn, as you know, the one that I have, this mini one, is older. I'm going to try to hold it so you can see it. They had changed what it was called. And this may be at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. I don't know how long this one in my hand has been discontinued, but I really like it. And they replaced it with this one. So we're going to see how I like this one. I usually love gel moisturizers. And I think that's all I got from there. But I have one more thing to share with you because it would appear that my nail stamping plate came in. Also, I have like 15% power on my phone. I don't think I've ever done a video that close. So I'll be right back. So this is the white wedding nail plate. I thought that I had this a while back when I ordered a bunch of plates from them and I never did and then I just let it go. And as you can see, I'm still part of the busted hand squad. I'm working on these hands, trying to get them lined out. But I saw a video and they were using this nail plate and it reminded me that I wanted it again. There's lots of beautiful images on here. I'm gonna try to see if I can focus in. And I see they're putting words on here now because some people don't know that there is a film over the plate. And that's very good that they're doing that now. I'm going to see if I can focus in so you can see some of what's on here. And then I will share with you some of the images that did catch my attention to begin with. That one right there with the Paris. The one with the cake and the dress. I have a lot of plates with those roses on there with both of these images right there. But that one right there, which is way bigger than the nail. But there was, let me see, I have to find it. I think it was this one. It doesn't look like much to look at it like this, but when someone stamps it out, it's very, very pretty. And this is the image that the person used in the video that I was watching. 
That one next to it is pretty. The little hearts are pretty. So I'm glad to finally have it before it's gone. And I got to make sure that whatever that is, it doesn't affect my plate. But I do think that's it, guys. I was trying to look around and make sure because the day that I came in from work, I shared with you what came. I don't think I have anything else. So that was it. I just wanted to share that with you. If you are using this moisturizer, though, and you are familiar with this one, please let me know how you think the two compare if you can. And until the next time, everyone have a fantastic day.